Hello Multiverse, welcome to Omniverse Gamers, I'm Damian Bizzio. Um This video is going to talk about why I feel experience points waste your time, especially in 5th edition. Um, I mean, experience points is a deep-rooted thing in Dungeons & Dragons, it goes way back to the original editions, it's just, you know, it's a way to codify the, the adventures you go on, how many things you kill. It used to be a way to track progress and how to progress your and how to progress your party up into higher levels. It used to be the only way. And then, and so a lot of people run what's called milestone experience, which they just, at certain points in the narrative, or when you solve a certain mystery, the DM will say, oh, now you're the next level. I do kind of a, I let players level up when I feel they should level up. I don't stress about it. You know, it's one of those things. You can, the thing with experience points is you can, you're the DM, you control everything in the game. So yeah, I can set up, you know, eight encounters and I can do the math and figure out how much experience points I want them to gain from those encounters and how tough they are. But why do all that work? Why, why would I add two plus three plus seven plus nine when I can literally just say, I'm going to say you're at 21. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, why do all the work when you don't have to? You can spend that time actually, you know, making encounters and making better NPCs, making making cooler things than just doing math. Now, some people say, well, without XP, what's the point of playing? Why would you go on an adventure? You're not going to get any experience points for killing a monster or solving a puzzle, or so what's the point? And I, that's, you know, that's a valid point for a lot of people, for older editions. But for 5th edition, honestly, I'm going to say that eliminating experience points actually makes your game more meaningful because everything the players are doing is going to be for their own reasons. They're not, they're not going to go into the evil cave to go fight the, the, the terrorist just for experience points or not just to get the treasure. They're going to go in there because of the narrative reason that you gave them. They're going there for their own reasons, not for an arbitrary number that they're going to get to make their arbitrary number on their page higher. They're going to go on an adventure to experience the adventure, maybe get some you know treasure, loot, some magic items. There is a, there's still a loot incentive, but they're going because they want to. And the game's going to be more fun because they're going there for reasons that the characters would go for. Characters don't care about experience points. The character in the game is going on an adventure, on a story. They don't know the numbers. They don't know the meta game. They have 2,000 hit points and they want to get to 5,000 so they can get to this level. They, they don't. Characters don't care about that stuff. So that's another reason experience points are kind of anti-immersion. Now, one thing about eliminating experience points, it kind of eliminates murder hobos. Sorta. Of. I mean, people aren't going to go out and just murder everything just to get experience points. So why are you going to go kill seven monsters? just to get to 6th level. They're going to go kill those monsters for maybe their resources, maybe their gold. So there is still some murder hoboing. You're going to go kill things and take their stuff. But it's for in-game reasons, not arbitrary reasons. So in a lot of ways, I feel just there's no need for experience points. It's an outdated system. The reason we have it is because in 1st and 2nd edition, a, a experience point did not actually match your level. Like, a, like, a, like thieves leveled up completely differently than fighters. So a thief might be 10th level, whereas a fighter's only 5th level, but they both have 20,000 hit points. And that's not the exact number, but just saying, classes did not level up equally in older editions. So you kind of needed an experience point system to balance that, because they were not equal across the board. But nowadays, everybody plays equally. And why, why have one player, in 5th edition, the levels matter. If you're third level and the people in your party are fourth level, you're hurting. You know what I mean, you're 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 not as strong as them, and it's not as fun. Like some DMs will sanction people that say you can't make a session, you don't make a session, and the other players did. So they're all going to get experience points, and you weren't there, you don't get the experience points. So yeah, it sucks. You it already sucks. You missed a session. You obviously you want to play D and D. You don't like missing a session. Now when you come back, you're not only had you missed a session, you missed all the narrative. You're down by the numbers. You're already so you're already. That player that already missed a session, you're already kind of pushing them out. You're giving them less incentive to come back. Whereas, yeah, they missed two sessions. You, they came back. Everyone's at six level now. Just be like, yeah, we're all at six level now. We're all, we're all, the, the characters are all in this together. So why make it adversarial? Ex experience points is an adversarial system. And in fifth edition, it's a cooperative game. If you're playing cooperatively, you're having way more fun than if you're all out for experience points and out for yourself. It's just, you're going to find your games. And that, if that's the kind of game you want to play, that's fine. The whole third edition was pretty competitive. Some some DMs still play adversarial. They're trying to kill their character players. They're they're behind their screen. They're they're narrating. They're telling. They're presenting challenges. Whereas I'm, uh, as you'll see, I'm a reactive DM. I improv. 
I'm trying to facilitate a collaborative storytelling experience with my players. I want everybody to have fun. You'll see I sit my I have a screen, but it's over here, and I have my monsters hanging from it. But everything I do is out in front of the players. I'm rolling my dice. I'm doing all that. So I don't need experience. I just I level them up when I feel they should level up, and it's a lot more organic. So I'm not saying don't use experience. If you like that, if you like doing math, if you like to codify all that stuff, go for it. But if you're a DM who doesn't like doing that and you're like wondering why bother, I'm going to tell you, don't. You don't need to. You're the dungeon master. You decide what level they're at. You decide the challenge level. You don't need numbers to do that. You use your brain to do that. And So that's my video on why I think XP is outdated and wastes your time. Like I said, I'm not trying to tell you what to do. That's just how I feel. I save my I save my brain for narrative and storytelling and that kind of stuff. I don't I don't do the minutia anymore. I literally my prep time has gone way down and I can run that's why I can run six games right now. I'm running six games right now and it's only two of them really stress me out. The other four are a breeze to run because I have a system that just I show up an idea and I don't have to do any prep. I I have to make a monster and I encounter and that's it. I don't have to do experience math. C R is useless. Challenge rating is, is about as useless. It's it's good for first, second, third level basic characters, but then it really does not address your party. So it's a whole other thing. So I hope that relieves some stress off some people. I know some people may disagree. By, by all means, trash me in the comments why I, you should be using XP, but I just feel it's a waste of time. So uh, that's our video on that. And uh, Omniverse Gamers, like, subscribe, dislike, whatever. Have, give me comments, give me ideas for other videos. I hope to have a lot more on the channel as I go, and have a great day, and keep on gaming.